All right, welcome back, guys. We have a stipulation draft from the Game Store Online. Uh, the stipulation is five color land stipulation. We have to play all five colors, and the first two packs must contain... Uh, the first two packs, multicolor lands are the priority in the first two packs. Um, and if you guys want to, you know, uh, suggest a stipulation or have a deck looked at by me, feel free to take a look at my Twitch profile. Uh, I do offer those services, and uh, you guys get to support the stream in the process. So what are we taking here? Botanical Sanctum or Glacial Fortress? I like Fortress. I do too, actually. <laughs> Crozier is not better than Publix. I'm sorry you feel that way. And it must be really sad to be that wrong, Matthew Ori. Got him. I don't think I've ever been to a Kroger. I have not either. And I think I even pronounced it Kroger. I don't know. Kroger. Because that's how little I care. It's one of these two, man. I think it's Glacial Fortress. I think it's just a better land than Botanical Sanctum. I'm going to take Glacial Fortress. They don't even have subs? What? Subs? Now it's Overgrown Tomb. I think it's, over I think it's always Shocklands over these check yeah. lands, I guess. All right, so we're going we're going hard on the on the lands because we have to. Also, to be fair, I've heard nothing but good things about Kroger, so no disrespect to Kroger at all. I disrespect Kroger. Uh, no disrespect for me. Disrespect for Mike toward Kroger. I hate him. They ruined my family. They ruined your family. Yes. How did they ruin your family? I don't want to talk about it. Well, you you brought it up. That's a little. I just thought that you you know because you brought it up. <laughs> It seems like you wouldn't bring it up if you don't really want to talk Publix about it. Publix is the only reason I stay in Florida. Same. <laughs> I'd be gone. If, if Publix went bankrupt, this state's going. This state is going underground in the water. Hell in a handbasket. I'm going to take... I guess it's, I guess it's got to be Concealed Courtyard, right? We're prioritizing these lands. Ooh, Chromatic Lantern seems good for the all lands deck. So does Primeval Titan, though, right? Yeah. I make dance. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Sultai Bruderuski. And if you guys didn't know, all these videos will be up on YouTube. So be sure to check it out at youtube.com slash Frank Lepore. This fixes all our lands, but this guy is just... Pretty bonkers. Pretty bonkers, right? This What if this guy just tables, right? No way. Not a million years. We get this guy like 10th pick, dude. There's no way no, that guy tables. Come on. Get it out of here. Is it prime time? Um... It's double green. That's my concern. Yeah. This just lets us play anything on turn five. Yeah, I like Chromatic Lantern. I think it is Lantern. I don't feel good about it. Don't get me wrong. Uh, but I feel like it's correct. We have two white lands. We have one blue land, one green land. I guess we just take the blue green land. Sure. Hmm. And also the, the, the multicolor lands are the priority in the first two packs, but they are not... I'd like to think that we can take something else over them if there's something really, really good. Like a Jace the Mind Sculptor, I will take over a land. Oh, so. you don't say. Yeah, I know. That's a shock. I know. I understand. Very shocking. Ooh, stomping ground. So, just to, so okay, so lands being the priority means only lands in the first two packs because I don't think that's going to be very good. Like, only because we kind of did that already and you just don't get enough good playables. Like, the reason you take all the lands is so you can take the good cards like Jace the Mind Sculptor whenever they show up. Come on, fetch lands. Come on, Fetchems McMetchems. But, Brian, it's up to you, buddy. You tell me. So, like, I don't, yeah, like, I want to, I want to adhere to the spirit of the stipulation. And, it, and it's your stipulation, so I want to make sure I'm doing it right. So you tell me what's best. 
Ooh, we got Coalition Relic and Chromatic Lantern? Seems legit. Seems pretty good, sis. What does that mean? Why do you say Who that? Who knows? We have seven picks so far. They're all playable, but they none of them do anything, so... I grabbed the kettle chips. See Discord. How do I get them to Michael? <laughs> oh my oh. god, they're literally kettle cooked jalapeno <laughs> chips. Ooh. Wow. This is what Nobert's just showed us. Literally kettle cooked jalapeno chips. That's actually hilarious. Oh, my God. Also, Mike's children could be in that bag. He has a lot of jalapeno children, so. That's true. Oh, Bloodstained Mire. That gets a Stomping Ground, Overgrown Tomb. That's pretty good. Every time I do draft all the lands, I feel like I can play anything. I'm like, I can play anything in this cube. All right, Brian. All right, we will take a Jason Mine Sculptor over anything then, just to be clear. Now that we uh, now we figured it out. Even over Immortality? Chase the Mind Sculptor is immortality, you idiot. <laughs> oh, we could take a Bruna. Hope to get the other part. Yeah, we can hope to meld. Our meld dreams can come true. What if the jalapeno chips are made out of your jalapeno children? Well, how do you think they're so delicious? Wow. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, I should totally add that dun, dun, dun noise to, to, the, to the soundboard. That'd be pretty good. That actually is pretty good. I also want to add Larry David saying that's pretty good, so. So, those could be two, two new sound, sound effects. Uh, O-Ring might be better than Sanctum, but we ain't done here yet. Oh, no, Filthy Frank is here to stay. He's not going anywhere. Just like on the real internet. He, that guy doesn't make content very often. He doesn't. He's actually really focused on his Joji career. Hmm. Is Rakdos' return? This is double white, which is harder than one black, one red. Plus, we have, like, some ramp here. I'm going to take the Rakdos' return. Oh, I guess we can put in the main deck. Oh, I do like a Bane Slayer. Or an Hour of Devastation. Let's keep it classic. Baneslayer? Yeah. Okay. Okay. He retired Filthy Frank? Wow. Really? I guess you have to at some point, right? He put out a video like four months ago. Uh, the, the land stipulation says multicolored lands are high priority. Not all lands are high priority. So, I think it's just Declaration in Stone. That's good removal. Marshall Coup. That's what I want. That's a good one. I hate my Twitch name. It's crazy old, but can you please pronounce it? No Beats. Oh, that's right. I keep calling it Noberts for some reason, dude. Yeah, I think I called you No Beats the first time I, I mentioned it, and then I slowly slipped into No no Berts. Which is sad, because that's a real sad Sesame Street uh, ruling, that you just, there's no Berts. Oh, because that's then totally you, playable. Then you can't have any Ernie. Oh, yeah, I guess that is pretty playable. This is a lot of lands for pack one. I want to put them over here for now. Mm, not the good one. No. Eh, this guy's actually fine, though. He's just not the good one. I'm tempted to take this Vindicate because I think it's probably better than the Copperline Gorge. No beats. I, I accept. I accept your, uh, your suggestion, and I apologize for calling you no Burts because the world needs Burts. Make no mistake. What do you think? Vindicate? Battle Ball? I don't like Battle Ball. We already have two X spells and a five drop. I want something early to deal with things. I don't like Pernicious Deed just because it kills these, but... Meh. It's your Vindicate, boy. Is it your Vindicate, boy? Yeah. Bert, you're yelling again, Bert. Hey, Bert. 
What's the pick here, man? I need your help. I need you to have. I need you to have some. Kind I of said input. vindicate. Did you, you say vindicate? Stupid schmuck. My God. Was that too much? Oh my God. It was. It was something, man. It was something, dude. Some type of way. It was something. Oh, colonnade. Oh, marsh flats, though. Which again gets us. Uh, no, just overgrown tomb here, I guess. Oh, do we have blood crypt now? Not yet. So let's take Colony. Yeah, I think. Oh, really? Over Marsh Flats? Oh, yeah. I can win the game. This is four colors. Three colors right now. <laughs> Whatever. I think it's Fetch. I also like Solemn Simulacrum, but we got to take a land, so I'm going to take a Fetch. It's got to be Fetch. Fetches are so much more versatile in this, in this, in this, in this stipulation. You're going to regret it. Well, I... <laughs> God, my toe really hurts, man. <laughs> we can cut it off on stream. <laughs> That's going to make it hurt worse. Wow, three creature lands. Lava Claw Reaches, Hissing Quagmire, and Shambling Vent. Shambling Vent's the best, right? Shambling Vent is the best. And nothing's going to ever keep we'll it We also have down. mostly white cards, so it's also a good reason We do to have a lot it. of white cards, and all our other cards are black. So, yeah, I'll take a Shambling Vent. Jitte seems like a card worth... I don't like these. These are probably my least prefer, preferred lands because there's just so many turns where you want a, like a 7th land or a 6th land and it's always going to... This is th If it's this one, it's always coming into play tapped. I think cutting off a toe on stream is against Terms of Service. It might be. Um. Yeah, but what if we didn't care about the... Oh, no, we do. We do. It's got to be Jitte, right? If it's $500 to do a slap step, how much is it to cut off a toe? <laughs> is it a Leshnorn? Leshnorn's pretty powerful. Is it Jitte or Leshnorn, guys? I like Leshnorn. We're probably not going to be that creature heavy. Also, Leshnorn with Marshall Crew seems pretty good, right? Yeah. Also, Leshnorn is kind of like... Um, a bomb? Well, she is a bomb, but she's also kind of like a, a sweeper. A bomb. Yeah, a bomb and my mom. That's what she's like, Michael. She's like my bomb mom. Hey, 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 I'll hey, take this blood hey, crypt. Hey, because hey. we can get it with both uh, Marsh Flats and Bloodstain Mire. Well, tonight there's going to be a jailbreak. Can you can you explain to me where the jailbreak might be? Somewhere in the town. Why does that song go like that? I have no idea. I don't know, but it's epic. It feels like the jailbreak's always going to be at the jail, right? It's not going to be somewhere in the town. It's going to be literally at the jail. No, man. Maybe they're digging a tunnel out. Breaking out. Nine yards out. Hmm. The not jail. Actually... Zalvion has a good point. How can your toe hurt if you don't have a toe? That's a good point. This also gets uh, Marsh Flats or Bloodstained Mire. So, again, perfect land. You could also take that Soren. I would take this Bloodbraid Elf over Soren, I think. Soren's yeah. real slow. Really? This isn't in the good Soren. This is the Soren that you have to go to 2 loyalty to make a 2-2. Two -two. That's actually Doodoo Soren, I say. You're Doodoo Soren. That's fair. You're soaring in doo-doo. <laughs> okay, that's... Okay. That's a good point. I hadn't considered Got that. him. He, di he did. He really he really did got him. Contempt? I like Contempt over Necrotal. Yeah, seems better. And it gets rid of Planeswalkers, which is nice. Tonight, there's gonna... Come on, Noberts. <laughs> I see what I did there. Called it Noberts again. I'm sorry. That was a joke. It was not It was not a good joke. I I, I don't want to ruin our friendship over, over calling you Noberts. Sphinx is rev. Yeah, it's probably better than Retreat, right? I think it is, but our blue, our blue sources are pretty low right now. It is double blue. It is double blue, skis. I like Glorybringer too. That was actually a solid choice. I, I definitely considered the Glorybringer. I just thought Contempt was better. It's gotta be Sphinx's Rev, right? Yeah. I wonder what's going on out there. The cat's doing something. I can tell. He simply was like, no, you can't do that, cat. Also, have you ever opened a can in front of the cat that wasn't cat food? Oh, he still goes crazy. Oh, yeah. He, thinks it's, he thinks it's cat food. It was like it was like I don't know four p.m. maybe and I opened a can of soup and he was just like, "Hey, brown, buddy, brown, 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 brown." This is a good Chandra. I still think it's better than Copperline Gorge. I really I don't like this Gorge land. Gorge is not good. And right now we're at a point where we put it five basic cards so. anyway. 
Although we are taking a red card. But still. Yeah, we already have like Sacred Foundry, Marsh Flats, Blood Crypt, Stomping Ground, Inspiring Vantage, and Bloodstained Mire. Six lands that already are red. So I think it's just Chandra. It could be Disc. But we already have Pernicious Deed, Vindicate, Raska's Contempt. All our cards are removal spells right now. I think it's actually just Cliff Chop Retreat here. This one I actually really? do like. Yeah, why what else would be? What about like land tax? How many basics are we gonna have in our deck? Oh, it's only basics. Oh my god, if this could get any land. Maybe it's just oh. What? I was gonna say like paladin or something. I think this is good because we have so many red and white sources. So many uh swamps and uh mountains and plains. Okay. That's always gonna come into play untapped. I believe you. Well, I'm gonna jump I think this is actually pretty good for us. Yeah, let's take better bossum. I think it's better than having a another land that comes into play tapped, so. All right, we are 13 lands going into pack three, so. I think it's just Slaughter Pack here, actually. Sure. I don't like Razor Ridge Ticket. I don't know if we're going to play Slaughter Pack, but. Oh, Mystic Snake. Your favorite. Mystic Snake. I was Mystic Snake once. What happened? I was no longer that. Oh, Cloud Ranger or Olivia? Olivia actually busted us up a little bit. Olivia's better. And a Goblin. That's actually pretty good. Goblin Dark Dwellers of Indicate? I'm, I'm game. God, I always see the Jason. It's a it's a Jason. I have to, like, do a double take. It's a Jason. I have to do a double take. That was a... What are we taking here? There's a, This pack is actually really good. I like Vraska, I like Snapcaster, I like Dragonlord Silengar, but I also just like Misty Rainforest. Yeah, Misty's pretty good. But Misty doesn't get us anything other than Stomping Ground. Gets us Island. It's true. It's pretty relevant. I think Silengar is pretty good. Vraska's also pretty good. I like Silengar better than Vraska. I do too. I need to get some liquid refreshment. Why don't you do that then? I shall. You going right now? Take my marijuana cigarette with me. Oh, Misty does get Overgrown Tomb as well. That's pretty good. It's actually like four cards. I think it's Silumgar still. Ugh, goodness gracious. This deck is looking good, though. My problem is I want to start taking powerful cards in this pack because we really need to pay off for all these lands. I think it's Silumgar. Garrick Apex Predator. Oh, a Badlands. That might be better than a lot of things. We do have a Phyrexian Metamorph in here as well. The 8 to 10 more playables? We're at 17 playables right now. I mean, that's only 6 more playables, which I think is fine. You guys are saying Cyclonic Rift and Garrick. I'm thinking Metamorph. I don't think it's Phoenix. I also don't like Garrick because we don't have, other than Chromatic Lancer and Coalition Relic, we don't actually have ways to ramp to 7 mana, and we already have, like, a really expensive top end. Same reason I don't like uh, Cyclonic Rift a lot. I think it's Metamorph here. How do you feel about Metamorph? The same reason I don't like you. I, I don't think that's, uh, I don't think that makes a lot of sense, but alright. Arid Mesa. So we've passed an Arid Mesa, a Misty Rainforest, and a Badlands, all of which I'm very sad to have passed because they're very, very good. We need labels, though. Big label, though. I don't believe in labels. So what you said? You need labels? I don't yeah, believe in labels. Need labels. Uh, we have a Botanical Sanctum, a Lumbering Falls, and a Glacial Fortress for our Blue Lands. So it's going to be a little rougher, but I think it's Karinos here. Karanos. I don't Karanos. even care a nose. Ha 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 ha. Plus, I like five drops in this deck because they ramp us from chromat from these two. So, don't care about Rupan Crag. I do like the Wandering Fumarole. Might just be Gonti though. <clears throat> I like Gonti a little. Yeah, Gonti's real good, and it's also double black, which is great for us because we have the most black fixing. I'm just gonna take the Gonti. I will prioritize. Uh, blue lands if we see them because we might need them. But Just Carnage Tyrant. Ever, yeah, you think so? Yeah. 
<clears throat> oh, there's a silver carry added, though. That might be better. I do like Sylvan Carry Out, actually, because we don't have a lot of two drops. And it gives us the blue that we might need. I think it's actually Sylvan Carry Out here. Sure. I don't think we want Pernicious Deed in the main deck. I like Ojitai. But Big Elspeth. I do like Big Elspeth a lot. I feel like that's got to be the pick. Oh, no. How many creature lands do we have? Just the, We have Lumbering Falls and Shambling Vent? Could be Sylvan Advocate. Do we really need Elspeth when we have all these other huge cards, so though? So good. Look how many high ends, though. We have 6-drop, six 6-drop, six 7-drop, X-spell, X-spell, X-spell. Like, we want early stuff. Well, Ojitai certainly is an early card. Well, I was thinking Sylvan Advocate, though. It's just a 2-drop, and it also goes really well with our man lands. I guess. Windswept Heath. What do you get? You get Sacred Foundry and an Overgrown Tomb. That's actually pretty good. I think we just take Windswept Heath here. Sure. So we need two more playables and uh, Slaughter Pack can be one of them if we need it to be. I like Gideon, Gideon here. Yeah, that's actually great. Misty Rainforest came back. Wow. That's pretty good. Woo! Getting her done. That's insane. Wow. Misty Rainforest came back. That is ridiculous. This is also 22 very solid cards, I think. Badlands also came back. That's pretty ridiculous. I don't want any of these other cards. I you just want Badlands. You want someone? No. I, I do not have high hopes for having a... a one. Look at the 16 lands. We either have to cut some of these, like... These doo-doo lands for basics, or just... I think we do add one... Um, one island. Because it's the only land we can't search for with our fetch lands. Mm-hmm. Man, that Badlands was insane. Now we have Blood Crypt and Badlands. Like, every every land is a dual land. <laughs> Arid Mesa and Reflecting Pool still in the pack. I think Reflecting Pool is probably better, right? Reflecting Pool actually seems insane. Yeah. Right, Misty Rainforest just searched for an island, which is why I want to put one island in the deck. That's why I said we need one island. That's the only basic we need. Because other, every other land we can search for. We can search for... Black with Overgrown Tomb and Blood Crypt and Badlands. We can search for Red with Blood Crypt, Badlands. And Stomping Ground. We can search for Green with Stomping Ground, Overgrown Tomb. Everything else we have ways to search for. Sarkin Boy? Yeah, Sarkin seems fine. Again, ramps. Five is, I think, our sweet spot. Sweet spot because we get to uh, ramp to it from these guys. I kind of just like Roast. Yeah, it's fine. So I need one cut. Wow. Both of these are fine. I'll, I'll take the Johnny. I think it's a stronger card. Actually, Metamorph can go here. Actually, Anger of the Gods is actually a good sideboard card for us as well. Of which we have three. <laughs> so 25 cards. We gotta make two cuts now? Jeez. Goblin Dark Dwellers doesn't seem great, actually. We only have Declaration, Roast, and Vindicate. That's actually true. That's a good point. We can probably get Rakdos' return. It's um, it's not like Legacy. It's not like Vintage Cube where you have a million mana. Plus, it's also super expensive. True. I think this is our deck. This deck looks good. Certainly looks like a pile. Wow. Too easy to figure out. All right, let's go to properties, and we'll do analysis here. And I'm going to screenshot this bad boy. Just for my own mana building needs. Okay. Probably like mana costs. So we have 12 white. 
six blue, eight black, eight red, and three green. Green is actually our least represented color. But we have enough ways to get green. So. Uh, definitely playing all of these. Any, any lands that we can search for. And all the fetch lands are definitely getting played. And Reflecting Pool is definitely getting played. Okay, so that's ten guaranteed lands. And I'm also going to have to do a little... We're going to have to do a little computational work here. We figure out how much mana we're adding here. All right, let's go down here. We're going to go white, blue, black, red, green. Okay, white sources, black sources right now. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow, that's eight black sources. That's a lot. Red sources, we have one, two, three. Marsh Flats gets those, four. Misty, does Misty get a red source? Yes, it does. It gets an open ground. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's, an, that's insane. Right. Uh, cutting green, it probably isn't worth it for three cards, but we have, it's like basically a free splash, so I don't think it's really not worth it. Um, we can also, I think Lumbering Falls and Shambling Vent are both also auto-includes because of Sylvan Advocate. So Sylvan Advocate is, also we have to play five colors. It's part of the stipulation, right? We have to play all five colors, so yes. So we added a black source. So now we have nine black, nine red. Blue sources is going to be rough here, especially when we have two double blue cards. But we have... Does Marshall ask anything? We don't have any blue dual lands, which is super frustrating. So we actually have one, two... We have to put one island in, at least. Just to get with Misty. So we have one, two, three... Four. Five. So it's five blue sources. Not terrible. We also have Coalition Relic, Chromatic Lantern, and Sylvan Carry added. So I'm not even including those. Everything gets... Um, Everything gets a plus three at the end of it. So we actually have 12 black sources, 12 red sources, etc. All right, white sources. Bloodstained Mire gets Sacred Foundry. So one, two, Misty. Does Misty get anything? No. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's seven right now. All right. And finally, green sources. Meyer gets Overgrown Tomb, so does Mystery Rainforest, so one. So does Marsh Flats, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, like, well, that's eight sources of green. So, so far our land is seven sources of white, five sources of blue, nine sources of black, nine sources of red, eight sources of green, and we still get three more lands. That's pretty good. And every other fetch land can search out uh, at least one of their colors. I think we can play the Sanctum, the Botanical Sanctum. Uh, I think so too, actually, because it's a green and a blue. So now we have nine green and six, six blue. blue. I like Clifftop Retreat too, because a lot of times it's just going to come into play untapped. So we'll just add that. That is now ten red and eight white. So we have one more land. play an island I was thinking a second island it's just an awkward draw sometimes yeah but I'm not sure what else we'd add but otherwise our colors are pretty good like blue being six kind of sucks for double blue spells that's where having seven's a lot better We don't really lack white... Well, we might lack white mana, actually. That might be true. I think we can actually add one planes. I think this is actually very good. I'm actually going to take... I'm going to take a screenshot of our mana base here. Okay, so this is what... These are the lands. This is not going to be pretty, just so you guys know. Nine... 10, 9. Okay, so this is, these are the number of symbols, 12, 12 white symbols. We have nine sources of white. 
six green symbols we or six blue symbols we have six sources of blue not including the carry added and the two the two artifacts uh eight to nine eight to ten three to nine so i think we're actually i think we're actually just fine we could even cut a green source mm, i don't want to do that just because we need it early well we're not even cutting a green source though all the green sources are other sources there's not even one single green source that is only green you know um what about like windswept heath windswept heath it gets Sacred Foundry, Overgrown Tomb, and Stomping Ground. Okay. I would never cut a fetch land. That's insane. And it also gets planes. So, like... Alright. I think this deck looks sweet. I'm excited to try it out. And uh, let's get her done. As the kids say. No kids say that. I missed a bunch of the stuff you guys were saying. Cut green. Play all the blue lands. Yeah, you have to know the card from them. Okay, I have once. Can't cut green in five color. Oh, I don't wish you to call it now. It's not fetchable, I guess. Don't forget to count. Mike looks like a blue source. <laughs> Pack over snake. Can you really use a spectrum pool? Yeah, I think so. It's hard. I mean, it's not ideal, but I think it's definitely usable. This hand looks great. Uh, Stekney's Moxin just got here. What is this monstrosity? It looks sweet. Sickest draft mana base. Mike B has retreat coming out of his head. Super green. I don't know anything that's going on right now. All right. Uh, Sathos, check out the the stipulation. We just did a stipulation. That's why it looks like a monstrosity. Oh yeah, this is that's a turn three Olivia boy. You doing okay? Just adjusting. So we need a white source. So we're probably gonna get. Oh, we actually need a green source though. I guess say, someone carry out it does all the things so. So we have double black for Gonti. Um, we have... Well, it's got to be a green source. So we'll just look at the green sources and we'll figure it out. Stomping ground, overgrown tomb. It's probably stomping ground, right? Gives um, us double red for Olivia. Yeah. Like we just have to assume they remove solar force like this, I guess. Oh, cool. Well, can't can't lose now. Yeah, Juposhi, we don't know either. Hopefully it's getting sorted out. Uh MTG bot is he's in trouble. We need he needs our help. Do we just Gaunty here? Going, going, Gonti. <laughs> Seems good. I guess we'll find out. I mean, there's no way this guy resolves, right? They didn't play anything on turn two or three. Oh my god, what is happening right now? Give me all the things. Oh, they're cracking that. All right. One less chance to get a land. That's pretty good. How nice of them. Courtney, what did you do? Why did you get MTG bot banned? Oh, are you just going to kill this guy? Oh, I see. That's cute. Yeah. What are you going to do? Let it happen, I guess. Hmm. Look at old creepy tar pit. So they still could have had a counter spell. It's just Olivia here. I'd rather run on Olivia than Baneslayer Angel. Although if they had a counterspell, you know, countering Gonti is pretty much the same thing, if not better. Thirst for knowledge? Murderous smut. Okay. But okay. I actually am a little... I think the biggest part about MTG about being down is the, the lack of quotes. Like, that is definitely a hindrance to our stream. I am not thrilled. Hmm, that's a good one. Hey, that's pretty good. Do we just... Do we just walk into Cryptic Command? <laughs> 
I think I mean, it's if just you're on cryptic art lantern. That's fine. No, no, no. I mean, I, I mean, I still want to wait on Bane Slayer because I just think it's strong enough to save. I think it's actually lantern into uh, advocate. Avocado. Sylvan avocado. Well, we're getting a we're getting a formidable army here. So when they languish, it's going to be pretty really good. Sad. It's pretty, pretty, pretty. That's not even a real quote. I never said that. Oh, why are you guys monsters? Oh, no land, huh? There was two land drops? Look at this, dude. I mean, we have lanterns, so it doesn't really matter. Look at this. <laughs> wow. Oh, Super good boy, oh, boy. Activate that tar pit. I dare you. I don't think we played Baneslayer Angel. Like, we're just really ahead here. No, I don't need to. I could have actually attacked the Shambling Men, too. Here we go. Factor Fiction. Great. Coligon's Command destroying that. And discarding a card. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> All right, you got it. The old, the old turn seven brainstorm. I like it. I am a fan. How rude. Um, yeah, but that's okay. I have a card called Baneslayer Angel. Perhaps you've heard of her. Oh, dang. One land away. One land away. God, I really do dislike not having any blue sources here. Yeah, we got, we got one. Yeah, I mean, this 7 carry added is keeping us, keeping our blue sources alive, but most of our blue cards are too blue, so that's unfortunate. Doing okay with me? Just fine. They have two, two creature lands? Woo! Very aggressive. Uh, I guess it's overgrown tomb. It's gonna be island. That ain't bad. I was tempted to attack with Shambling Vent here, but I mean they're just gonna kill Bane Slayer Angel, I'm sure. Yep, that's pretty good. I'm pretty sure it metamorphed the Gaunti here. Seems decent. I would have just tapped your carry out of there to not take two points of damage. Yeah, but um, we'll keep this one. If we get a four mana spell, I'd like to be able to cast it. Like if we get like a cryptic command or something cool. Good deal. Um, I, I actually maybe I wanted to. So I kept this Gonti instead, even though it opens us up to like a braid or whatever, or Snapcast or Colagon's command. Um, because if they wanted to attack with the Wandering Fumarole, we can just block it, which is a fine trade, I think. I'll attack with Shambling, though. I was gonna play Grave Titan. 
Really into all that open mana? Um, I mean, if we play, if we want, if we activate this, they just block with this, right? Oh yeah, sure. My concern here is that they're going to uh, Cyclonic Rift and bounce all the things. Or they just play Hardcast Force of Will. That's a, still a two for one. They're Grave Titan for their Force of Will. That's fine. I accept. That's a good dude. Soon it will be ours. Yo, I can have this guy. Seems good. So they have Grave Titan and, and Inferno Titan. That's pretty good. Really? Come on. That's annoying. Rose can't even kill Inferno Titan. You're right. Well, there's a second blue source. Pretty sure we're just dead at this point. We get to trade something, I guess. So that's pretty cool. All right, now we just have an Omnixilus and two creature lands to deal with. Sphinx's Rev is good. Martial Coup is good. Rakdos' return actually might be lethal. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six. We're Still one on our deck. I know, I'm just saying. That would have been funny. It's not even in our deck. Do you understand? No, I mean, you might forget, so. Your mom might forget. Hmm. They're also at six. That's real low. Come on, Marshall Coup, one time. Not low enough. Yeah, that's good times. Alrighty then. We also searched for two lands. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There are six lands in our nineteen card deck. Less than a third of our deck is lands. I feel like this game was going great as well. We know they have sensor now, that's good to know, and force of will. I guess we go to three here and uh, assume they have a lightning bolt. Play a creature, we'll marshal coup. The end. That's a creature. Don't have a counterspell. We'll marshal coup. The step was to draft all the lands, not draw all the lands. Yeah, that's fair. Marshal coup one time. Or another land, that's good. Marshal coup's the next card, right? That would have been fine. No, it would have. You're right. Die. Would have died. That's a lot of lands. I'm gonna I'm gonna chalk that up to a, up to a fluke. I think slaughter pack's probably better than roast here, to be quite honest. Yep. It kills thunder on hellkite, inferno titan. Roast doesn't kill either of those, so I think it's actually just a better card here. You're not wrong. I know. Mitchell doesn't kill grave titan, but neither does roast. Right, so yeah, just just fine. I will play first. Good lord, this is an ugly hand, but I don't actually hate it. I do. They don't do a lot of things. Is the problem? Like they were kind of slow and dirtily so. A 
That's true. Reckless return can kill planeswalkers. Yeah, that's fair. Sure, crack this. Get an overgrown tomb. Actually, might I want to get like Badlands or Blood? Actually, Blood Crypt probably would be better than we can get uh, Overrun Tomb with Misty. But I think it's still fine. We can get a Stomp. Actually, we'll get a Stomping Ground with this. Two drop. That's just fine. Yeah, because Glacial Fortress and Reflecting Pool is two blue, which is nice. Right, Michael? right -oh. Coalition Relic also gives us a turn for Chandra. So. We know they have Sensor, and they also have... Wait, they have Sensor? Yeah, it was in the graveyard last game. Oh, okay. You amateur. Well, I didn't see it. Well, maybe if you looked harder, you'd see it. Maybe if you looked harder. Really? Is this how you're going to be? This is how it's going to be. How's it going to be? I think it's just Stomping Ground Island. Yeah, we only get two lands with this guy. So we have Windswept Heath. Windswept Heath can get what? Uh, Probably nothing, actually. Yeah, they do have Force, but we can't really play around Force at all. Yeah, we're going to actually leave the Stomping Ground in here to get with a the Windswept Heath if we draw that. Really? It's still fine. Yeah, they had Force and Sensor. Those are the two cards I mentioned at the end of the last game. Those are the ones worth keeping in mind anyway. They don't have Colagon's Command Mana, which is nice. Give me a Charge Counter. Charge-o McBarjo. Let's add a red. Do we risk the Chandra or we just play Bitter Blossom? I kind of like just playing Bitter Blossom here. Like, I don't want to give them out their sensor value. Like, seriously, don't. Guess I've miscalculate. Oh! Hmm. Nimble Obstructionist entering the, the dirt zone. The dirt, the dirt zone. zone. I, I knew it. God, you're so predictable. The dirt zone. How's your water, bro? Oh, maybe if you want to say dirt zone. My water is just fine. To the dirt zone. My water is just fine. Let me have five drops so we can play around miscalculate and everything. I'm actually going to play that here. Green. Next time we have so much land. Four, five, six, seven. Yeet. So next time we play eight, so we have we have we can play around miscalculate and um. Oh, oh they had the miscalculation. Nice. Get them all gone. <laughs> the more lands we play, the more mana sources, the worse this gets. So they're just like, alright, I'm just gonna cycle it, forget it. Alright, now we're gonna try to Chandra and get around everything that we have to get around. We have two less cards than them, but... Get around. Bright eyes. Oh, actually, we can just play a Johnny here. Does that seem better? It's all right. <laughs> Nothing excites you, Michael. I think Chandra might be better. I want to keep the red tap down, though. Okay. Turn around, my guys. Plus, if they have a counter spot, I'd rather them counter a Johnny than, than Chandra. Did they have Raska's Contempt? They did, didn't they? Yeah, see, I'd rather just get that countered. Countered. Mike actually might be a Frost Titan that taps himself forever. That actually makes a lot of sense with the ice chewing and the sleeping 13 hours a day. Huh. What? 
Yeah, huh? You're right. Good good point, what? Mike. Yeah, good call. Huh? I huh. read. <laughs> Turn around, my guys. Give me them. Give me them two two flame boys. Them hasty basties. Who wins? The Grixis control deck or two flame boys? The answer is always the flame boys. Well, those are the old flame boys are at it again. They have a lot of mana right now. I'm uncomfortable with it. Yep, that's a big one. I guess you're just going to my face, which is actually going to my Chandra. So, do we just Marshall coup that? Or do we... That feels like a good Marshall coup target, right? Side. We can also Silumgar it and make them have the answer again. Or we can post destroy and then play Silumgar. What do you think? I like taking it with Silumgar and attacking for a lot. And they kill the Silumgar, they get their guy back. I'm afraid if they have Murderous Cut, though. That is my concern. That would make sense. Yeah. I'm going to coo here. Coo coo ka -choo. Yes, coo coo ka -choo. Do you think they have Force Spike? Probably not. I don't think they're going to have Force Spike and the other one. Guess we'll find out. If they do, it's real bad. Turn around, my guys. If they have Grave Titan, we'll just deck in stone. Or we'll Dragon Lord Silumgar it. Like, we have plenty of answers. I'm, I am afraid they have Murderous Cut, though. So if we go Silumgar, they go end of turn Murderous Cut. Then they get to attack with Inferno Titan to kill our Chandra. So right now, keeping our Chandra alive is a little more important than just crossing our fingers that they don't have Murderous Cut. This also makes their Murderous Cut so much worse than they're at 8 right now. I would also expect them to scoop here. Two scoops. Which is really only one scoop because, you know, you can't scoop twice. Oh, they did. They knew what was up. They're like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You can't scoop twice? Sure you can. Scoop game one, scoop game two. I kind of like Rakdos' return in this deck because they're, they're kind of slow. Just like you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, you like that, did you? It's pretty good. Pretty, pretty. I'm going to just go 41. We have 17 lands, two, two of these, and this. I think this is a 41 time. This is a 41 time? I knew you were going to say it was... It's a 41 oh. time? Oh, it's a 41 time. Why? Someone quote that. It's a 41 time. No one quote that. I mean, look at that. What am I looking at? What? Is there a bug on the wall? What are you looking no, at? No, it's just... This is messed up. Yeah, I know. Okay. I saw it earlier because you're a you're a failure. <laughs> Come on, blue source. Karakonk, thank you so much. Three months in a row, man. Hi, Mike. It's been three months. Not since I signed to your stream. Are you taking me somewhere nice? <laughs> Are you taking me somewhere nice today? Wow. Wait, uh, why wouldn't he th wouldn't you take him somewhere nice? Why would it be me? It's your stream, buddy. It's my stream? That's interesting. Everybody knew that. But yet, I receive none of the profits. Don't you, though? No. Isn't happiness its own reward, Michael? No. I want to get rich, Mitch. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> get in line. I like your Dave Chappelle reference there. Yeah, thank you. That was nice. That's a reference to the credits. 
<laughs> yeah, that is <laughs> that is literally a reference to the credits. I'm waiting for the time my opponent nimble obstructionists my uh your fetch line. Yeah. That's rough. That's not going to be good. Oh, all right. So, to be clear, we have mana for days at this point. I'm going to lead with coalition relic. Don't have a black source. No black source. No black. No third land? Oh boy. Oh boy, it is a dark time. We have reached the darkest timeline, ladies and gentlemen. To be we're fair, we're pretty slow. We're going to lead with this, because if you want to counter this with sensor, that's fine. This is bait. There you go. You got it. Sensor it. Congratulations. I guess we could have waited. I don't know. Now they don't get to cycle that, though, for a third land. Oh, they hit it anyway. Dang, I was so sad. Turn around, Mitch eyes. <laughs> I like that one, huh? Yeah, turn around Mitch Eyes was good. <clears throat> mm -hmm. And I need your Mitch tonight. Is it just still an advocate here? I'm more concerned about playing around the uh the misdirect. Miscalculation rather not misdirect. Metamorphing the relic is actually pretty interesting. The black card in our hand is Veraska's Contempt. I really need you tonight. Oh, that's pretty good. You get one card. So long, Coalition Relic. Boy, that was actually very, very good. I mean, we can still cast everything in our hand, which is fine, but... <laughs> All right. I guess we just play Olivia Voldaren. Old Vordarian. I mean, they 100% have misdirect, right? They're playing like they have misdirect. Miscalculation, whatever. Juposhi is basically the, uh, the MTG bot of the chat right now. I really don't want to give their, their misdirection value. I feel like Metamorph on this guy is totally fine. But they have so much better targets than we do. But I mean, if we hit another land, we have two four fives on board. Which is pretty good. Hmm. I don't actually know what to do here. This is probably the toughest turn. We can either play one of these, run it out. If they have misdirection, it's kind of bad. It's kind of a blowout because we can just play around that. We can metamorph here or we can just do nothing. I don't really like metamorphing a 4 or 5. I don't either. I'm just going to pass. Not attack? We did attack. Did you? Yeah. Oh, he's got vigilance, right? <laughs> got that vig, boy. I mean, the thing is, if they want to play anything, they're going to have to tap stuff eventually like this. Sure. If we draw a land and we can play Olivia and then shoot it, that's actually pretty good. Land one time. Nimble, nimble obstructionist? No. Keep the blue up. They don't know. It's actually very good because now we can shoot this guy. Attack for four. Get a 4-4 four, four, Olivia. 4-4 four, four, Olivia is good because it... 
Sure. <laughs> you got it. Why wouldn't you stifle the Bloodstain Mire? Alright, so matter. we just wait a turn. Well, now they're probably going to kill it with, like, Inferno Titan. They're going to go Inferno Titan, kill Olivia. And then we can Metamorph Contempt if we hit a land, which is pretty good. I really need you tonight. Gonna play an Inferno Titan. Could have actually waited and not attacked, but I really wanted to get in there for four, because they're at 13. Or they would be at 13. And Inferno Titan. Like, so exactly what we said happened, happened. Sure. Because they've had Inferno Titan every single game. Land? Now we're talking. All right. I don't think we actually have a land to get with this, unfortunately. That's really sad. Yeah, because we don't have any basic forests, right? Yeah, we have no basic forests, and our only green sources were Overgrown Tomb and Stomping Ground, so... Yeesh. That's rough. Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty sad. I might want to edit our mana base, actually, because that's pretty bad. Well, I don't imagine it being a problem most of the time. We just happen to draw three sources. We only have three fetch lands, and, like, they shouldn't actually run out of sources, but here we are. Four cards, we have three. That Olivia play was pretty bad. We could copy it, let them attack once. It's like a million damage. You could also just tap it down for her with Johnny. True. Actually, doesn't uh, Johnny doesn't tap. That's annoying. Yep. Forgot about that. Yeah, that's annoying. I see. I get the it's like cards like this are confusing because some of them actually like Tamio taps the permanent and doesn't untap. Uh, Johnny doesn't tap it. So that's confusing. That's probably the worst play of the three we could have made this turn. Pretty sure that's going to cost us the game. Could have also, like, I, I I wish I had known because then we could have waited with Olivia for their turn. And then if they play Inferno Titan, we can shoot in response. Or if we shoot on their turn, the only way to save their bird is to nimble instructions on their turn. So we just let them waste that three mana. And then we get to do it all, so. Did you see there was an Ulamog there? No. Yeah, there was. No blocks. Yeah, we just threw away to Johnny. That's pretty sad. Yeah, see? Yeah, no beats thought that Johnny tapped as well. It's confusing because there's so many different cards that do similar things, right? Like, like there's this um, there's this ability that keeps a permanent tapped. Some of them untap, some of them don't. Yeah, I feel like we had the contempt. Yeah, I'm just going to wait till their turn to do it, though. Mm. 
He too brought me here, stayed for Mike B. Ultimate price. Um, yeah, this way you can't hard cast Force of Will if you have it. <laughs> sure. All right, that seems better. Yeah, copying the 4-5 might have been the play. Like, we still have this guy in hand, and that would be a lot of pressure. Like, we probably could have done about 12 more damage if we had the, a second 4-5 to be attacking with every single turn. Balthazar, this is a stipulation draft. You can use command stip in order to figure out what it is. There we go. Juposhi's on it. All right, seems good. They were going to play something, and they said, no, I don't want to play anything. So that's interesting. I guess we just... Sarkon here? Even that feels bad. Well, we know we don't have Mickey's calculation or sensor left, so... Yeah, I guess that's true. But they were going to play something, and then they chose not to, so... I don't know. Plus, he gets he can survive a hit through Creeping Tar Pit and Baleful Strix, so that's not terrible. Also, we only have single blue right now for uh, Sphinx's Revelation, and we don't have seven mana for Martial Coup, so... What is this? Cyclonic Rift? Stroke of Genius, wow. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Oh, a tomato. Oh, you kept my Sarkon tapped. That's cool. Rude. That is rude. That is rude. I don't actually know what happens if we if we metamorphose Sarkon when it's in the air. Does anybody know what happens there? Oh yeah, we're one land shy. Wow. Oh boy. Oh, uh, you can definitely target him when he's a creature. <laughs> He'd be a creature, so you definitely can target him. Does the Metamorph just become a... I think it dies from zero loyalty. Let me oh. look. I actually have no idea what happens, and I don't want to lose the game, so... Oh, it actually becomes a uh, it becomes a planeswalker. So you'd have to sacrifice one of them, and then I don't actually know what happens to it after you sacrifice the actual planeswalker. So I'm pretty sure we just want to play Solomgar here. And then you can counterspell this if you'd like, because I'm sure you have it. You have six cards in hand. We all know what you got. Oh. Well then. Oh, he's tapped. Sure. Murderous cut Dragon Lord Solomgar. To the surprise of no one.
Oh, we discard a card and deals two damage to a player. I think it's just Lesh Norn here. Yeah. You actually just dealt two to me. That's interesting. It's a little frightening. Omnixless. <sighs> Every single time. Must be nice. Sure. Interesting. Hmm, boy. Having a good time. I don't know what happens to this after it becomes a creature anymore. We can find out. Yeah, I'm just going to find out. That was interesting. He just becomes the Planeswalker? That's pretty okay. Do we just attack your... F no, we have to attack... Oh, God. Tamiyo does nothing, though. Like, attacking Tamiyo just doesn't do anything here. It just puts her to three. And then she gets to keep tapping down Sarkon. I guess knowing that, we probably should have killed Belfal Strix first, but I didn't know that. I thought it would actually become a creature, so... Yeah, I'm not sure how we can deal with the Tamiyo. Well, I think you had to make it a creature to copy, right? Because Oh, because it wouldn't be able to copy. Right. Yeah, I guess we had to make it a creature, you know, because yeah, it wouldn't have been actually a copy. It wouldn't be wouldn't have been targetable if we didn't make it a creature, so that makes sense. It's not the other con. Oh look, Grave Titan, they've that they were waiting to play until we used Phyrexian Metamorph. To how fun. To the surprise of no one. Why would you ponder here when you have Tamiyo next turn? You can just emblem Tamiyo and have infinite ponders. Oh well. Marshall Coup. Oh man. Does that do it? I guess we'll find out. I mean, they get to emblem Tamiyo, which is pretty strong. Yeah, it's pretty good. They have three cards in hand, though. If they don't have anything good to emblem, like they they might just be dead on board, though. You know, we have four, four, and five, one ones. They have three cards. Like that's not a lot of cards. To Gil, thank you so much for the bits, man. For the cheers. Cheers and bits and splitty -dee splits. Don't no one no one listen to him. Why not? Because actually, once they emblem here, they don't have a way to deal with Sarkon with three cards. That seems pretty good. I actually don't feel terrible at where we are right now, which is really weird because I felt like this game was not close anymore. Wow, Marshall Coup off the top. Remember that one? That was a good call, right? It's like it just happened. It's almost like it just happened. Hmm, that's cute. Do you attack here? I mean, it's a two-turn clock. Okay, they tap this down again. That's pretty good. We have to... Yeah, this is actually... This is death. We have to find a way to deal with this guy. I mean, we could... If we draw Rakdos' return, we're good. Sphinx's relation doesn't do it because we don't have two blue anymore.
not sure what we can draw otherwise. Declaration in stone gets rid of this guy, but it also gives them a clue. Vindicate is reasonable against this guy. Actually, not anymore, because now Creeping Carpet's lethal, so... It's an interesting choice. <laughs> Come on, dude. Rude. For real. Yeah, that's game. <sighs> and we can kill this guy. Actually, what is this? At the, at the beginning of your draw step? Cool, that doesn't do anything. Yeah, literally one blue. We have no more fetchable lands. I guess we could find out to be sure. Sure. I should just concede. We're dead. Now we have Badlands. Uh, for 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 Misty Rainforest, all we have is Overgrown Tomb, Stomping Ground, and Island. Those are the only three fetchable lands. God, anyone like? What is this? Oh, you have a third card? Wow. Wow. Yep, yep. I mean, Baneslayer Angel would have been amazing there. I mean, they tap it down, so maybe not, actually. Chandra Flamecaller could have been... Nope. Nope. Vindicate. Vindicate was, like, the only thing we could have had, I guess. Even then, I think we're still dead, so... I mean, game was pretty good, though. Were we going to change something? Oh, Slaughter Pack over Roast, I think. Slaughter Pack also would have been a fine draw. I think we're actually fine with our mana. Um, they just happened... We happened to face the deck that had answers for Chromatic Lantern and Coalition Relic, which we drew both. One of them was discarded, and one of them was um, destroyed or countered. Yeah, one of them was, was censored, so... One of them was my dad. No one, none of them are your dad. Maybe. No. But maybe. One of them was my dad. I think this hand's fine. It's satellite. Any one land and we get lantern, which is all I really care about. Yep. That'll do. That'll do, pig. Plus we also have Mystic Snake mana with the lantern. Don't be a little Mitch, okay? We have everything mana with the lantern, okay? That's true. Gosh. Oh, your grandma gave you 100 bits. <laughs> Thanks, grandma. You're the best. How come you didn't put it in a card? Grandma's more efficient. Grandma's always put money in cards. Do, 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 super aggro. Really? One, a 1-1 one, one on turn 3? Oh, they didn't echo it? No one echoes it. This guy's never... The echo cost on Mogwarsh Marshall has never been paid ever. Never ever? Oh, wow. That's pretty good, though. Three, four, five, six. We take six next turn and two this turn. Ooh. Brutzo toots, my man. Where's the anger of the gods when you need it? That's, that's a fair substitute, I guess. I wish this was a coalition relic, though, because then we'd be two turns away from angering, from martial cooping. Man, I've been making so many grammatical errors tonight, and I'm not even drunk. I give God, Juposh, you get it together, buddy. We also, I think we have one grandma. I think Tukili is our only grandma. That's what you think. That is what I think. Oh my God, this Marshall coup—if we survive—is getting, getting pumped. Pump, pump it up. Now it has to be because this guy's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, three, four, five, six. So we're at 12 and they have 10 power on board. It's no good. How's that all? It's uh, no good. 
the good. I'm just gonna play this guy and kill their Jade Light Ranger. It's an aggressive start. We're definitely bringing Anger of the Gods here. Anger of the Goods. Now we only take five. We go to seven. That's pretty good, right? Unless they go like Huntmaster of the Fells. Yep, that's that's a thing. But now we take two less. Okay, so we take four, and we're taking one here. So we actually take three. We're basically immortal. Immortal, huh? So nine, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so we're basically dead if we don't play a thing on board. That's really sad. And we also have to draw land for. I don't hate that, but I don't like it either. So. Play old carrot nose. Oh man, not if both grandma, but not if both your grandmas are lesbians. Okay, well, can you please ask Mike if either of his grandmas are lesbians? We need to clarify something in chat. <laughs> hey man, can you can you confirm? Um, as far as I know, no. About your lesbian grandmas? Yeah. So we go to two here. That seems dangerous. Just a little bit. But we're still alive. And that's the important part. I didn't need to do that! Oh, we have Chromatic Lantern in play! Yep. Wow! I'm gonna pay this. Seems good. Welp. See you later. And we're dead. We had a good game, though. Did we? I don't know. I don't think so. Did we? No, I don't think we did. Okay. Anger and... How about Deed? Ooh, Anger and Deed both come in. Even Roast. Even Roast. I just want to take some things out. We also have Chandra and Aleshnorn and Baneslayer. Our deck seems good. I'm going to take Metamorph out. i take Mystic Snake out. Take Bitter Blossom, bring in Roast. Sure. And we just have Mono Removal now. All right. Feels better. I also just want to play Mystic Snake Aru, but I don't feel like now is the time. Now is not the day time. I, I, that's what I just said. You don't even listen to me. Why would I ever listen to you, dummy? Why'd you call me Donnie? Donnie? Why are you like this? Hey, man, remember that one time that guy drew us on Twitter? Which one? This one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Meh. Oh, good times, good times. Oh, yeah, we got the anger. All we need is one more red. And our deck is full of red. We got the angler and the dangler. We don't have the dangler. No one has a dangler, okay? Maybe you don't. Wow, Mitch is really transitioning into that rebellious phase. You are not wrong, buddy. He is uncontrollable sometimes. He's got all his danglers in a row. <laughs> that, that'll do. Marsh Flats can get us a stomping. Nope. Uh, I guess it just gets us Badlands if we want to cast Anger. Oh, it gets a Sacred Foundry, which also lets us cast Gideon. But we already have planes, so I guess we don't need Sacred Foundry. I guess it's probably just Badlands here. Oh, explore, eh? Oh, second land, eh? Oh, Oath of Nyssa, eh? This is a way slower draw. Yeah, I, I wish, yeah, like, I wish we had anger for, wish we had anger for the last game, and this game we could just put it there back in the deck. 
This is a no dangler lesbian grandma stream. Okay, maybe that's Couldn't true. I said better myself. Look, we drew the Badlands, so now we get to just get savage. Uh... Andrew Mariko, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Soul Tie. Welcome back. I think maybe, unless I'm just familiar with you from Twitch Arena or uh, from YouTube, YouTube Arena. Either way, we're getting something with this Marsh Plant. I will go to 18 life points. Here comes a hunt master of the f the fools. Yeah, attacking with with death red shaman is a weird thing to do. No sir, I don't like it. Uh let's actually get overgrown tomb. That gives us a green source. And then we can still get uh you know, other things. That's great cuz now we can get um, we can get island with this guy if we want to. Do we just anger here? This feels like good enough to be anger, right? Sure. Sure. <laughs> okay, sir. <laughs> I can't. I just can't deal with it. <laughs> Andrew, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. I knew. I knew your name is definitely familiar. Wouldn't have subbed Caleb D stream if I only knew I was getting one prime song with Frank's getting my awesome aloof panda. I really appreciate that, man. I'll, I'll let it slide this time. Oh, Corsair of Krufi. Did they play land? They played forest and then played Corsair. No, that's not. That's not how you do it. So you're drawing that forest like a sucker. Good deal. A sucker, you know. Oh. I'm just going to crack this now to get the island because I don't really want to risk of drawing it. And then we're just going to play Gonti because Gonti shuts down everything. Oh, wow! It's pretty good. Which one is better? Woo! Probably a Targa. You think so? Just because it's faster. Okay, you got it. Oh, they got a mountain anyway. Twas not four lands. And I like playing Olivia when we can actually do something with it, so. Yeah, game one was rough. We kind of got stomped. They had it all. They had it all. And they had it now. That's from uh, the song. That's from the song. You know the one the I'm talking about. The song that I'm singing to you, laddie -o. Oh, you got a Craig. That's pretty good. Oh, you got a little walking burlurster. A walking burlurster. You know what I'm saying right now. I do. I See, just... no one ever pays for this guy. Why not? Your favorite land on top. Oh, that's a dude. Man, yeah, we got Death Touch. It's all good. Do we? Yes. Yes. Just testing you. Do we? Yes. Shut up. Why don't you shut up? Why don't you die? The old snake in the grass. What? Why would you call me that? Because you're a snake in the grass. Is that like a f fly in the Vaseline? Yeah. Flies in the Vaseline we all sometimes broke my mind. What do we get with this bad boy? A bad Larry. I don't know if we get anything with it, actually. We can get Blood Crypt Badlands. Uh, Overgrown Tomb. All three are out. Okay. Sacred Foundry. We can get a Sacred Foundry. We have a target. Oh, Aloof Panda. Can this count as my own stuff? Definitely, dude. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. That. That'll do. That'll do. So we'll leave you up and we'll just play Olivia with these colors. And next turn, Dragon Lord of Tarka should be uh Game. It's a bad Larry. Oh god. Well that's scary. That is frightening. What could they even have? 
Oh, they played a forest, so we know they have a mountain in hand. Oh, they're just going to play Walking Ballista here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so it can only be for for three. Oh, God. Actually, that's that's fine, because we can shoot something. Hmm. Flies in the Vaseline, we all. Sometimes it blows my mind. Yeah, that's fine. Is it me? Is it me? me? <laughs> Going blind somewhere in the Vaseline. Yeah, we're just going to shoot if you want to trade for your. If you want to trade for this guy, that's fine. Like, now you're going to shoot three times. Yep, that is fine. We trade Walking Ballista for Olivia, and we get to... Oh! Oh, we actually don't trade. That's fine. So we still get to kill your guy. That's great. Because now we get to play... Uh... Durgan Lord. Dur Dr Dargon Lord. Which probably kills a green creature. That way you can't natural order. I agree with you completely. <laughs> <laughs> and we know they get natural order on top and we know they have a mountain in hand so they are pretty far from doing the thing took four damage four slaps buddy no we have not done a most expensive stipulation that's interesting like, I do know Tony price. Pagliocco. Yeah, Tony's a good friend of mine. What'd you say? Just look at the price of every card. Yeah, just look at them up. Yeah, because like, there's a lot of close, uh, close prices in the in the in the cube. You're like, oh, is this? Well, this is forty five. This is forty seven. I don't know. Yeah, we're just gonna attack here. This is a three turn clock. We can actually play Gideon and carry added. Like, I mean, if they get a green dude and they can play um, Natural Order in the same turn, it's pretty scary, but. That's life. I can actually put two counters on this guy, which is kind of scary. Stop. Stop yawning. You slept all day today, dude. Just stop. That doesn't mean I'm not going to yawn. It should. It's not how that works. Eh, it kind of is. Mm -hmm. Stone forces them to use this right now. True. I think it's fine. So they get to make it a 4-4. Four, four. Then they get to make it a 6-6 six, six if they want to. But they're not doing anything with their land if they do that. Hmm, boy. And they have a mountain in hand. We do get to declaration all of these guys, which is pretty sweet. No, they don't. They don't have a mountain in hand, actually. They have... Uh, Natural order. I guess they played the mountain. That's an interesting thing to do. Pretty sure you shoot this twice, attack Gideon, and shoot this one more time. But going face here. Face with both. I'll be honest, I don't care about this guy, so... Sylvan Carriadid has done its job. 
admirably. Let's get the Sacred Foundry before we can never never get it again. Uh, we have a Windswept Heath, so we're going to get... I guess both of them can be gotten with that. I, I don't think it matters now that we have a uh, Reflecting Pool. So we can deck and stone these guys. Should have roasted this guy first, I guess, because now they can just... <gasps> They didn't see it. We could have shot the. They could have shot the one dude. Oh man! Well, that would have been game. That would have been really bad for us. We can also roast either one of these guys. Probably the ballista, right? It might be the ballista, but the problem is this guy actually. Um, they can na natural order next turn. True. So I actually think it's this guy. Oh, gotta be red. I thought I had. I thought I had a red there, but and we actually have to make a dude here because if we don't, oh, we can actually attack with this. That's pretty good. Somewhere in the Vaseline. And this is unfortunately only uh, 15 damage and they're at 16, so we couldn't have killed them this turn as far as I can tell. So they have Natural Order and one other card in hand. <laughs> Shaman. Okay, well, I guess it'll be Natural Ordering finally for Hornet Queen. Hornet Queen. Now we're sharing the same hornet dreams. It's 100% Hornet Queen. Or Crave. And we die. That's also true, I guess. I guess they're doing Crater Hoof math. <laughs> they're doing something. Swolfier Silverheart? Does that just kill us? I don't think so. Well, they shoot this twice, and then we take nine. Oh, that's not that's not actually death. That's nine. That's not lethal. Oh, yeah, it is, because then they shoot us with the rest. Okay, we died. Dang. Yep, that was fun. Oh, uh, we did not exile our Hornet Queen. It got shuffled back in. We exiled their Dragon Lord of Tarka. Wow, we are 0-2 right now. That is fun. Brilliant. I thought our deck was actually pretty good. Apparently not. No, the cards you don't get with Gonti go to the bottom of the library. They don't actually get shuffled in. Or they don't get exiled, rather. Man, stipulations are hard, dude. You right? I know I'm right. Why would I say it if I wasn't right? Because sometimes you're wrong. When? All the time. Name, name a time. Yesterday. When When exactly yesterday? When you were like... Bzz, 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 and I was like, that's not a thing. And kettle like, corn? Okay. Kettle... Yeah, man. I think it might be jalapeno chips. No beats. Have a good night, buddy. Always a pleasure. Really? MTG bot is still not online, Matthew. No, if it exiled all the cards, that'd be insane. Gonti says, look at the top four cards of the library, exile one of them face down, put the rest in the bottom of that library in a random order. It's... Otherwise, you just like, if you play three Gontis a game, you're just exiling 12 cards. That, that would be weird. That would be weird. I'll keep this hand. You're weird. Got him. Oh, my God. You didn't get anybody. Got him. Uh, the next modern deck will be... Oh, actually, it's <laughs> actually Brendan, it's yours. I was going to do it on Sunday, so it would go up on Monday. Should have said it on Monday. What? Sunday. What? We're playing against Papa Stacy. What? Or Papa Stacy. What? What about Papa's P Tasty? P pasty. What about Pap as Tacky? <laughs> Pap as Tacky. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. Papa's 
Yeah. PC. I mean, I could try to throw some modern videos up on Wednesday if that makes you guys if that makes you guys happy. I thought Monday was the the known day, so. Can you can you guys not talk about our conjoined twin status on stream cuz uh it's it's a sensitive issue? You're a sensitive issue. So one of the first articles I ever wrote for TCG Player like eight years ago was an article about Ethersworn uh, Transmuter, Master Transmuter, which is why I actually have a, a soft spot for that deck, for that card and that deck. I would really like a, a blue mana right about now. Boy, not getting like a watery grave or an underground sea is uh, is really been a hindrance here. It's not good. Should have been dead on Monday, Sunday. Was this, is this what you were singing and now it's in my head? Yeah. Like, like kettle corn, kettle corn ones. Kettle. I play Hearthstone regularly. Kettle corn ones. I don't stream Hearthstone as much, but I do play Hearthstone pretty regularly. What'd you say? Yeah. Oh my God. Uh, except potential brew ideas from I do, except I accept I accept ideas. I don't necessarily like playing just random ideas. I do actually do deck critiques. Um, usually, if if someone donates, I will do a, a deck critique. I'll go over the deck. I'll play it in a league, and I will uh, give feedback on the deck, and then I'll, you know it'll go up on YouTube and everything. Um, the reason I just don't do that normally is because I usually get swarmed with ideas. <laughs> it's actually pretty tricky to keep up with all the things because then people just re literally like I got like two, two or three emails in the past couple of days alone um, with people just sending me random ideas with no actual, like they're just like, here's the deck. Look at this. And I'm like, okay. So it just gets a little overwhelming and I don't feel like I can um, adequately address those, those, those desires, I guess. I think it's just overgrown tomb here. We'll stream hard zone sometime. But not when the cube's up. Right. Correct. That's not what we're looking for here. Welcome. Should have been dead on a Sunday morning. Back and back Hearthstone is great. Anyone who thinks Hearthstone is bleh, I think they just don't understand it. I think they haven't given it a fair shot because Hearthstone is a lot more complex. And there are a lot more plays that you are gonna miss that you are gonna misplay that will cost you the game than anyone actually ever thinks. Like it's very, very frustrating when people are like, it's just not good. It's not it's strategic and it's just it's just not true. It's just different. You're different. Yeah. Oh my god, why are you the way that you are? Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. Why are you this way? Yeah. Why are you this way? Oh, that was a good draw. It's a blue source. Hooray. It's also a blocker. Hooray. I'm tempted to just copy this dark confront, to be honest with you. That seems like a terrible idea. <laughs> Why? Why, Michael? Well, you see, Frank, our deck consists of very high converted mana cost <laughs> cards, and we would surely die. Very soon. Okay. Well, that's but something. But you know what? You're piloting, so go for it. Look, they drew a top. Like, they're going to draw every turn. Actually, top and Dark Confidant's a pretty good combo. I wish Slaughter Pack could kill Dark Confidant. But it can't. They'll probably just die from it. They, it'll take 20. They'll die. I guess unless they always hit lands, then they won't die. So. I don't know if I did dust my Raza. I'm pretty sure I, I might have just dusted Patches and... Uh, he dusted Corridor patches. Corridor creepers. Yeah, patches uh, got nerfed. You didn't see the nerf? He doesn't have haste, right? Yeah. Is that enough to dust him, though? Yeah, he's pretty... Because you get the top You get the top amount. You get all 1,600 because he's a legendary. Okay. So if I want, I can just rebuy a patches again, or I can get any other legendary. Oh, true. Eviscerations on YouTube says, I don't think you've been drafting poorly. Deck looks fine. Lack of focus might be an issue. Probably all those marijuana cigarettes Mike is blowing down. Con contact high. Yeah, I can see that. Also, replaying top every turn with a Thalia in play seems pretty bad. 
Ooh, no attack here, huh? Well, that's good. Can we just sit on Karanos and not... It's like our own Dark Covenant. It is like our own Dark Confidant, except the Dark Confidant that shoots their, their Dark Confidant. Mike B doesn't toke. It's just a it's just a stream joke because he he rolls up Hershey's wrappers like. Hey candy man, you wrappers. don't know me. <laughs> no, I kind of do. I might toke on the weekends. He rolls up candy wrappers to make them look like marijuana cigarettes. Yeah, what you don't know is I put real marijuana in it. No, I do know you don't. You don't know. Mm. It's chocolate smelling. Kush. Where do you get it? My chocolate dealer. So you get chocolate then. And chocolate flavored kush. <laughs> yeah. Didn't think about that. You know, I don't think much about it. I'm going to be honest with you. I think you should have been dead on a Sunday morning. Well, it's not Sunday yet, so. Oh, a sword supply shares. Thank God this isn't a creature. Am I right? Oh, look. Hexproof creature. Not a creature. <laughs> Do you have something wrong with you? You. Oh. You're what's wrong with me. Hey man, when Hearts and Stops requiring you to spend four hundred dollars on packs each time they release a new set. I spend about like two hundred on packs every new set, and I, I think it's that's a, I, that's more than adequate. I'll consider giving it a shot, but for what it is, I'm forced to grind out a few hundred games to end up in a little if you're grinding out the games, then you're not enjoying it. Like that's the thing, right? Like I usually spend two hundred per set on Hearthstone, and I have most of the, the decks, most of the top tier decks, if not all of them. Did you keep my vent my vent tap down? Is this coming into play tapped? Nope, we got a planes. Look at all those beautiful lands. Can we just take a Johnny? That seems good, right? Seems decent. You mean Dece? No decent. Dece no. You know you know what's going on there. Oh, they have they have swords though, but we still get to use it and kill like their their dark confidant. They're bark bark bar. Yeah, they're bark bark badar. Bark bark badar. <laughs> no, why? That was so funny. But I laughed and it really was funny. Kill your bark but bark badar. But then I laughed and it was funny. It was. It was funny. But Mario. So they kill this guy. They get their Johnny back. They tap down a thing and we get to Karanos if there's a guy on top. I feel like this game we're in good shape. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Oh, path? That's even better. Thank you. Wow. You're just making it real easy for the Sphinx's right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Sphinx for six. Good deal. I guess Sphinx for five. They're tapping down a vent arena. Still seems good. I do like that they're... I feel like they're, their own Thalia is hurting them more than it's hurting us. Like, they have to... If they want to replay this, it's two mana. All their swords and paths cost two mana. A Johnny costs five. Ijuni. If we draw the Misty, it doesn't really matter because we've already gotten the, the value out of the island, right? So it's kind of like just not drawing the Misty. Uh, shoot your... Your Johnny... A John Arino. Boop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Actually, we do. I think we just draw six here. What say you? Seems good. Tap that land and Thalia attacks. What is that? Oh, because because uh, yeah yeah. I see what you're saying. It's five, right? Because we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we essentially have eight to work with. So yeah, it's five. That's still fine, because then we just go up to eight cards. So, or seven, yeah, eight cards is fine. I think that's more than enough. Boy, this Dahlia is. How many people in the chat are going to say you can't draw six, you can only draw five, you think? 
What do you think the limit is? Two. Well, we're already at three, right? <laughs> so. Where's... Oh, yeah. Well, Connor said Connor said four. So, I mean, I think that's similar. I think the point was just correcting us from six. I think that was the... Uh... So, Slaughter Pact, you also have to pay one up on the front. So, it costs one mana and then you still pay three. What a, what a ridiculous discount. Discount? Uh... What's the opposite tax. of a discount? Tax? Yeah, what a ridiculous tax. Yeah, I don't care about that guy. None of these creatures are impressive to me. None of your creatures impress me. I draw the five cards. Done. Oh, you weren't supposed to be a land. God, the last thing I want is another land. Though I guess we do have Olivia Voldaren. She's pretty good. Olivia Voldaren. More like Olivia Fall Down in. That doesn't make that any sense. That was my joke. How dare you. How dare you. Don't ever look at me again. I never would once. <laughs> I never would once. Are you going to pay a cost, are you? Okay, well, I'm going to shoot again. Shoot again. Shoot, shoot again. I got all the shooties in the world, my my brother. And shoot one more time. Shoot the Thalia. And we gain more life, too, from the, from the Triggies. Look at all these vampires I'm giving you. We do have to discard a land, though, which is really sad. It's not that sad. I know. I'm fine with it. And we gain five. We go up to 26 against the the deck. <laughs> oh. Against the deck. It's the deck. Attack with this guy. No. What do we have left in the deck? We don't have Slammer Ground. We don't have, we don't have Bad Bags. We have Blood Crypt. All right, so we'll go to this guy. Still got a Blood Crypt in there. All I heard was blah, 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 That's all I blah, wanted blah, you to hear. Crypt, it was a blue. trick. It was a trick, okay? Blue. You stupid Mitch. Blue. Why does that, why do all these people have Inferno Titans? I don't understand. Yeah, we'll go to 23. Sure. Let me draw a non-land so I can shoot it. Yes. Yes. Look how good this is. Are you ready? I'm waiting. I know. Feel like making metamorphs. Feel like this should be a concession. This is this is definitely a, a concession feel. Some kind of concession feel. And we get to queue up Mystic Snake. I'm down. What to a climb. time to be the crime. Don't question me. Don't tab wrong. I, I didn't. We got blue, 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 green. We got all the blue in the world. They do have five cards in hand. That's a lot. We also have five cards in our hand. That's true. We also have an Inferno Titan and a 4-5 and a four, another 4-5. Four, and a Karanos. Which seems better. If I could respond to them conceding, if they conceded, I would actually counter their concession with the Mystic Snake. Which seems pretty good. This Devotion to Red is also four. Actually, Mystic Snake would turn Karanos into a creature. Ooh, that's pretty interesting. Is it going to be Grave Titan? D does our opponent also just have all the Titans? Are we, are we supposed to remember the Titans? You ever seen that movie? No. You ever seen Remember the Titans? Nope. It's about football, don't care. Wow. Here's the thing. I don't care about football. I like feel-good sports movies, though. Well, like the Mighty Ducks. Can I get can can I get a strong side in the chat? <laughs> yeah, like the Mighty Ducks. What about Five Will Goes West? Okay, that's not a sports movie. Isn't it? 
No. I don't want you to do this, so I'm just going to Mystic Snake it. That seems like a good reason to do that. I thank you. Uh, thank you. Oh, and Karanos becomes a dude, and I think you're dead on board now, actually. Six, eight, twelve, thirteen, nine. Plus a couple pump spells. What did you say to me? Wait, why aren't you... Oh, it's, it's got to be seven. Never mind. My bad. I thought it was five. The other gods are five. Um, that's actually fine. You get to kill this guy. You can't kill the Infernal Titan because it's an artifact. <laughs> it's actually pretty sick. Got him. We did actually got him there. Everybody didn't think of that. I they Yeah, I would imagine not. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to crack this and uh, just get the Blood Crypt out of the deck. If we draw any red or blue permanent, which I don't think there actually is in the deck. Nope. That's not one. I guess we'll shoot you in the face. How much? Actually, if we play Lantern, all our lands are mountains, so we just kill them on the spot with yeah, it seems Inferno good. Titan. That's actually pretty funny. I don't even know if we needed it, actually. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Nah, we probably didn't need it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But let's do it anyway. Mm -hmm. Okay. But okay. Uh, red. How about we just add a bunch of red? Red, 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 red. All the red in the world. I think they're like, all right, we get it. Okay. We did it. Did it, boys. I don't like Slaughter Pack when they have creatures that are black. Good reasoning. Oh, thank you. Do you want Anger of the Gods in here? We saw Thalia and Dark Confidant. True. Ugh. Yeah, Karanos needs seven. The old gods. The old gods. Uh, the gods from Theros need five. The single color gods. Bear. Seems pretty good. This does seem pretty good. Except, you have Colt. Why wouldn't you ever splash for Nicol Bolas here? I don't understand. Seems greedy. I think that's the opposite. I guess that's true. <laughs> I guess that is the, the opposite of, uh, I guess that is the, the thing. You're doing good. You're not doing good. I don't like you. Wow. I'm going to sell you to the circus. Yeah, what do they pay? I'm going to sell you to Andy Circus. Who's that? Uh, he's Gollum. Yeah, I'd live with that guy. He's also uh, Claw. Ulysses Claw from the Marvel Universe. Your second land was a maze of it? Oh, that's bad. Oh, we're doing, we're doing badly here. Yeah, that's what you think. Uh-huh, that is correct. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It is also he is also uh, King Kong in the new King Kong movie. He is also Caesar in Planet of the Apes. More like Planet of the Crepes. I don't think there were any crepes in that movie. You weren't looking hard enough. Maybe that's true. Maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. What are we getting with Marsh Flats? I guess we can get all of these in Marsh Flats. We'll get. I'm going to get a white source. <laughs> He's also Danky Kang. Correct. I was a Danky Kang once. So our hand is just gas, right? We just get a Badlands with this guy. And then we have it all. We have white, white, blue. We have blue, blue, white. We have double black. We have double red. And they missed the third land drop. That's pretty bad. That's also a good land. I like cracking these as soon as possible, though, just because I don't want to actually draw the only sources that we have to get out. Really? What is this, turn 5 Thalia? Oof, that ain't good. Well, I guess we're getting those 50 play points or 40 play points or, you know, whatever they are. Uh, is it overgrown 
tomb. It's overgrown tomb, actually. We want the second black. Um, no, actually, we want windswept heath gets overgrown tomb, so we'll just get badlands here. Badlands. So the first time we draw that. Till the dead die. Badlands. If we just play metamorph here, like they just can't cast any spells, right? I think so. I don't care about that though. But it'd be pretty funny. Oh, we could have vindicated one of their lands. That also puts them off spells. Oh, they got a land. What if we go Vindicate Thalia? <laughs> That's pretty good. Not Vindicate the Thalia, but then we play Vindicate, then we copy the Thalia. Wow, double, two double Thalias. Two huh? Thalias. All right. That one's actually good against us. I mean, we just, in two turns, we just play Aleshnorn, right? And then their board is gone. Yes, sir. Till the day I die. And we do need one land to make that happen, but I think we can hit a land in two turns, right? Here we go. Ready? Actually, we'll just do that for two. Oh, we can't. Dang it, Dahlia. Meh, 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 meh. Really? Meh, 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 meh. Why are you the way that you are? Meh. Okay, good good answer. I didn't think about that. I, I really didn't consider that from your perspective. I apologize. Yeah, well, maybe next time you will. I probably won't. Wow. I'm well, an absolute monster. You're, you're, the, you're the greatest monster that ever lived. Really? Bad company till the death alley dies. Hello, this is my hexproof friend. Say hello to my hexproof friend. I guess they can activate Maze of Ith on their own Thalia, but I don't know if that really does anything. It saves her. Oh. Why not? Well, that was weird. I guess we'll just do this, Jobby. Kill your two... Kill your... Kill your creature, Jobby. Creature, Jobby. You know what I'm saying. And then we'll play our seventh mana. Our seventh land, if you will. Oh, Anguished Unmaking. That's a two for one. Till the day I die. They also have Path and... If they don't get another White Source, we're just going to Vindicate this Concealed Courtyard. Okay, that guy's definitely dead. Bad company. Till the day I make. Till the day I'm Mike. You know what I said. Oh, here comes Path. I'm going to have a land for it. Oh, Swords, you just gained set four. Okay. Okay. Could have waited a turn. We could have vindicated this. I don't I don't like vindicating lands, though, because they always draw more lands, and we don't have a fast way to close the game out. See, that I'll vindicate. And next time we get the Sphinx's Rev, that's pretty good. My name is Jeff. Hello, Jeff. Oh, a Johnny Vinjante. A Johnny Vinjante. That's his, his God-given name, Michael. I don't think it is. Prove it. I can see it right here. I hate you. We can attack for three and then contempt this guy, right? One, two, three, four. Eh, no, we are one shy. We're one shy, shy. Gonna draw lots of cards. I'll take two because it gains us one, so I don't care. It takes two, gonna gain us one. Aloof Panda, probably gonna be the last draft. Um, We'll be back tomorrow, though. Well, I will. I don't know what Mike's doing with his life. I'll probably be back. What time you want to wake up tomorrow, buddy? Whenever I open my eyes. Okay, well, that's... All right, so 4 p.m. 
I guess. Could be sooner. Could be three. Wow. Could even be two if you're lucky. Well, what do you say about maze here? I don't understand what maze means. You can maze your attacker. No, you can't. It has hexproof. Yeah, it has hexproof. That's why I'm like, I don't know what that. I don't know what maze is. How how maze is relevant on this board? Because corn. <laughs> I see. Polar spur. We are playing cube, and we are five colors. There was a stipulation. You got it. Bad Michael B. Till the day he dies. I guess we just Sphinx's rev here for a million, right? Yep. Blue, blue, white. You. I guess we're gonna. Was it W? Cool. Go to ten cards. Go to nine cards, and then draw one. Go to ten cards. Okay. Let's see how many we can play in one turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine lands. This guy costs five, so we can play that. Play like an Ajani, I guess. And keep their nothing tapped down, I guess. Well, I don't know what to do. I guess we just Raska's Contempt this. This is annoying, right? Seems solid. Yeah, I don't care about this guy. Or I do, but I don't really want to deal with it anymore, so... Black, white. Actually, yeah, we'll just play Banslayer here. The other guy gets haste, so they have five cards. Why do they have so many cards in hand? Oh, we could have actually waited to steal a Johnny. That is a good point. I'm trying to play faster though, because like. I just want to end this game. It feels like we're so far ahead right now, but... Oh, they didn't path this, so that's a good sign. Oh, that's sad. <laughs> spicy Gomer in the house. So spicy. The spiciest of Gomers. Oh, it was an Ulamog for a second. You thought this was an Ulamog? No, it like flashed the Yeah, Ulamog. that's what happened with the other thing. Why does it do that? I don't know, because it's real weird, man. Till the day I die. So we can go this guy. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two. Yeah, we can go Sylvan Avocado. Which is pretty buff. That's a buff avocado. One, two, three, four. Shoots O'Toots. And shoots O'Toots again. All right. Four, four, five, five, and five, five. Seems good. So long, Spicy Gomer. Damnation? Heroes downfall, sure. Wow. Oh, we had a land. I totally forgot we had a land. I just like really quickly clicked it. I don't think it matters. That's what I'm gonna to say to myself to make myself feel better. I says to myself, I says self. <laughs> I don't need that. What's that from? I don't know. Okay. They're doing very well with the land they have, so I'm gonna wait for you, Maze of this guy, and then we're gonna Johnny Vengeance it and keep it locked, keep it on lockdown. What was the name before? Johnny Vanjanti? Yeah, that was his name. Hmm. Do you not think that's his name? I don't know if I believe you. Or we just keep this concealed courtyard locked down. Either one seems fine. I'll go for Mazebeth. Can you stop saying Gomer? That's my dog's name and he thinks he's getting his fruit. Hey, Gomer! <laughs> Gomer! Is he a good boy? Gomer! They have it all. I want it all. And I want it now. Yet again, 
Misty yeah. Rainforest doing one, the two, job. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now we're just going to tap Concealed Courtyard and start swinging with this guy because I'm getting real tired of it. Actually, Misty Rainforest is great here because um, we have Chromatic Lantern. That just makes it okay. I don't oh. know about great. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Oh, look. The turn we keep the white off, they find the planes. Typical. Come on, Magic. Don't do me like that. Don't do me like that. Sure. Yeah, you can have a roast or a declaration if you want. This hand is pretty gas. We don't have our own big things, but we say any big things you have are pretty bad against us, so... We're also getting to a, an, an, a Johnny Vengeant breaking point where we can just blow up all your lands, which is pretty fun. Get him. He's the goodest of boys, like all dogs, but he's dumb as, you know. Dumb as heck. He's just a little mentally challenged boy. He's just a little gomer. Um, you know what? You can have it. I will not be baited into playing a Mystic Snake against the Phyrexian Arena. You can't trick me, buddy. Boy, this, this Lumbering Falls is really getting the job done here. Slowly but surely. Don't call me Shirley. What if I call you... Shimley? <laughs> yeah, man, Shimley's fine. Okay, Shimley. Shimley's my birth given name. Here we go. You ready? I asked you a question, Mitchell. I'm always ready. Smitchell. Are you always ready? Yes. You know who else is always ready? Bonesaw. Who's that? Shut up. Old Shimley the Poor, where your stories about him down at the LGS. Yeah, I mean, he's got a long, illustrious history of uh, lots of Shimlian. Shimlian. Oh, that's a good one. That that one cannot cannot stand. Really? No, I guess it's fine. You're not gonna have any lands anyway, so. You just roast his guy. Well, it's got pro. Yeah, I mean, I was gonna say it's got pro red, but. Not yet, it don't. Not yet, it don't. Is there a way to kill you this turn? Nah. Just get him. I don't even want to waste time. I ain't playing with you. Good games. Good amig games. Gonna go black. Black. This guy and this guy. Let me see what you got. Show me what you're working with. I'll take your Inferno Titan. It's always Inferno Titan, just to be clear. This is my first Legacy of Good Times, though. Yeah, they're usually always fun. Oh, wow. Dark Ritual. I'll take that one. Nah, I don't even care. Mm, blue, green, you, and you. Put you... 
puts you to six. You take one, and then we have lethal. That's pretty good. I guess we could play we can play coalition relic off of dark ritual here, but you know I don't think it matters. Really, you don't think your no land opponent's gonna make it back in time? <laughs> I have a feeling. Oh, we did it. 40 points. 1-2 with the stipulation, which is always fine. As long as I get, like, half of the play points back, I usually feel pretty okay about it. And the games were pretty good. I thought the games were interactive. Um, a couple of land mishaps. Wish we had more sources of blue and our fetch lands weren't dead at certain points, but what are you going to do? Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. If you guys haven't done so and you enjoy the content, do me a huge favor. Slam those like and subscribe buttons on YouTube. Definitely helps me out. And, uh... I'll see you guys later. Every day I upload new videos at 11 a.m. Eastern, so be sure to check back, and I'll see you then.